the distribution centers coming in 3.23 are the first iteration of what will become a far more complex installation in future. But the lower levels can be observed in part, even in the current form of the distribution centers. We were wondering though if we could venture further into the current structure by making use of vehicles inside the building. Okay, um, are we able to spawn snubs there? No. Well, I don't know. Like, do the hangers work now? If they do, then yeah. I'm taking a Pisces in now, just a proof of concept, that, you know, see if it's actually actually feasible or not. Pisces won't fit, we'll have to get something smaller. I was heading for one of the Microtech Logistics Depots near the equator of the planet. The initial plan here was to fly ships through the entrances and hopefully all the way into the inventory space. The giant inclined elevator within overlooks a section of the inaccessible deck below. So maybe we could just fly down there and take a look around, but first of all I had to see if the Pisces would even fit at all. I got through the first door anyway. It's much tighter than I expected. Ooh. Oh! Oh no! Okay, oh, okay, so oh. they will impound you. This wouldn't stop us planning alternative methods though. Ground vehicles might work, yeah, you could probably, I mean, grav levs, maybe, well, I don't know, grav levs, grav levs don't work on, on this surface today, so, but ground vehicles maybe. Well, that entrance is designed specifically for ground vehicles, so if they didn't work, that'd be kind of an issue. Yeah. They outsmarted us, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd need to go pick up some ground vehicles, so I'd be taking a Valkyrie to a mining outpost while Cyrus pulled a snare voice second test with ships. Vehicles, your vehicle has been delivered. Hangar one. Visit us again. I'm gonna go to hangar because I'm not gonna let something like a little impound stop me. <laughs> but I might get impounded with what I'm doing. I'm bringing a Merlin. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that, yeah, that's not a bad idea. I suppose you can do that here, can't you? Yeah. In the Pisces, I made it basically through the first archway as soon as I got in, inside that little, like, the little entrance road, you know? Um, it impounded me. Not a big fan of this ship, but it'll serve my purposes. Good old Calhoun, right? They've really optimized these distribution centers. They're running pretty well. I'm getting 75 frames right now. I was arriving at Shubin Mining 18, where Charger was already pulling vehicles himself to add to our testing. The in-game name is exactly the same as it is this one. Okay. For this test, the smaller vehicles would work best. PTVs and STVs, I imagine, would fit easier. But Cyclones, we thought, might also work. You can't pay fines at um, mining outposts, can you? Um, I, think there's a I don't know. Yeah, I don't think there's a terminal for that. I'd be loading an STV first. Next, Charger would be bringing a Cyclone on board. Oh, hello, Charger, yeah, go on, go ahead. And finally, I'd be loading up a PTV, a vehicle that I have not jumped in for quite some time at this point. So, with a handful of vehicles on board, I could return to the logistics depot to begin our tests. Can you hear me, Microtech? Yeah, we're at Microtech, yeah. Okay. We're, um, okay. we're going to um, the Microtech logistics depot. Making my way back in, the sun was rising over this part of the planet. Uh, yeah, and th things are supposed to be... Uh, repgated, like certain places of the distribution center are supposed to be repgated, and they will start running towards the pads then. 
It is a fair distance from the landing pads here to the entrances, but the facility has a network of roads, making it perfect for wheeled vehicles. the best vehicle for myself. But for the PTV though, it seemed there are possibly some challenges we had not thought about. Like, trust me, there's races coming in plan. Oh, oh my god. Uh, okay, there might not be a race in plan. <laughs> I, 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 I don't think I was going too fast, but I hit that ramp and damn. Cyrus, I would approach the ramp very carefully. I see that wreckage. What? What happened? What? But I went up the ramp at what I felt like was a reasonable speed, but then suddenly it just caught fire. Cyrus, the moment of truth. Oh, I just noticed there's two doors. One of them says entrance, one of them says exit. Oh, that yeah, look at that. I did go in the exit. Yeah, I did go in the exit one, so. Now we could make our way to the inclinator. Do I need to get out and open the door? Let's find out. Okay. Nope, door opens. That's good. Wow. So that's one of the bridges there. But let's go through to the, um, the cargo area, the inventory area. Right, it's a right. Yeah, it's right. I like that the doors open for vehicles. Uh, yeah. The inventory center is much more cluttered, however. Cool, that looks pretty packed. tracked it over or try and jump it. At the edge of the inclinator, the platform we wanted to reach was visible below. And now we had a choice to make, attempt to jump from the narrow space we occupied or wait for someone to join us with a two-handed tractor beam. For now we would wait, but we were also stuck on board here. Alright, so we're both either just stuck sitting here. Okay, I spy. It's a bit of a drop, it is a bit of a drop, but um, the geometry of it looks like we wouldn't need to be going super fast to make the jump. Uh, yeah, but and it, I can but just it, back up and get some speed. Right, but it's I like this thing is so narrow that like, you know, the wheels are barely on it, so it'd have to be pretty... Uh, yeah, if I, if I get caught up on anything, it's like... Oops, yeah, no, we're, we're just dead immediately. <laughs> Then I was reminded that this small multi-tool tractor beam might be able to lift an STV. If you back up Cyrus, I've got a small tractor beam, I'll see if it works or not. I'll just see if it lifts the vehicle at least, you know. Amid confusion over the keybind changes, I prepare to try and lift Cyrus on board the STV. Alright, what is, what's the five? Five, yeah. Ugh. Kill me. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, Probably yeah, should yeah. straighten you back up actually because. Do you want me to try and do you want me to try and lift you down there? Uh, sure. Okay. Although, oh, it's driving weird now after that. Really? Yeah, it's like it's like jittering and shaking. Okay, but rather than driving. Okay, this might be scary. Okay, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. Oh uh, yeah. science uniforms before, right? So my plan here was to just extend the beam out as far as I could and then drop him, thinking that way he'd get the most distance and hopefully avoid dropping him into the chasm below. Yeah. Here we go! Okay. Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that was an explosion. <laughs> I mean, you made it down there. 
Good, good thing we didn't jump. <laughs> now, is it because I came down too hard? I don't. I don't think, think so. It didn't. That. No, it seems like pillbox. It didn't even look like you came down that hard. To be fair, I think they've probably just put that in so that we don't, don't do, do that. this. Exactly. They're on to us. <laughs> oh, you got near sir. Charger. By now though, more vehicles were queuing up and I had an idea to confirm our suspicions without killing anyone else. To confirm that result, we could chuck a vehicle um, down empty and see if it blows up. I Which I mean, I know it's, you know, sad you'll lose your vehicle, but for science, right? I mean, it's going to a good cause. I mean, Can you lift this? They're a bit too heavy, All right? So these vehicles are too heavy, we'd need another STV or PTV. I couldn't lift the cyclone, but with two tractor beams, maybe we could. Oh, Ooh. okay, so we can we can lift it together. But doing this together is going to be or it's going to be awkward. Okay. Katana and I were going to move the cyclone to the edge. Very carefully. Okay, here we go now. Just Mark's wheel, Mark's wheel, Mark's wheel. Going. Going. Uh, Whoa! Okay. <laughs> here it goes. <laughs> okay, so I guess vehicles getting down there is just death to the vehicle. Now, what if you just knock someone out and throw them over there? Well, do we have any volunteers? Uh, uh, my spawn is anywhere. Katana would graciously volunteer to be tracked beamed while stunned. I got a pity. I only have five seconds. Okay. Need down now. Okay. Ow. On the ground. I'm dead. He's I'm dead. dead. Oh, you're dead. Oh my god. I'm dead. It's <laughs> yeah, Damn. it's a kill. Mode. Okay, so, well, science, you know? Now we know. Yeah. So at the end of our first day of testing, it seemed like we'd hit a dead end. There were some other points of interest that we considered too, but really the inclinator was the most promising. The other place to try... ...in here. I would personally say STBs because of how that PTB handled that Katie was driving. Well, we can bring both. Maybe it's just that one. I mean, I don't know if that goes anywhere, so like... Yeah, over there. Right, you've got all these platforms, but like... I have a feeling they don't go anywhere. I have a feeling like, because I can see a ladder between the upper platform and that, that one there, but like the bottom one, there's like no access whatsoever, it looks like. So I would have imagined someone going over there would just be trapped. Yeah, I don't see any, any connections whatsoever. Now, this was originally going to be the end of this. We tried, CIG put in a big kill box, so there was just no way, right? But something about the footage stood out when I was editing it. All of the explosions and deaths happened when making contact with the ground. What if we tried heading for the containers down there instead? On the second day of testing, Fadinator Zugbug me were on our way back in. We are on the ground. Given the high likelihood of death in tests like this, we'd be leaving most of our gear behind. As we set out, I would spot a tree stump that a ramp had only just managed to clear when deployed. It, so it was either the condition of the servers, hence the patch, or, or something about Ooh, look the look at servers. that! <laughs> yeah, you've crossed a tree. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like this big smokestack here. I, I have to say, it is running smooth. So I'm nice. surprised with how well the mini maps are working. But on the way in, I'd also spot one of the Earth rovers dotted around these facilities, and I was curious if it was unlocked and usable. No, yeah, because you don't need a uh, uh, There you go. You remember we tried, we tried the other day, and the, it was uh, oh, normal. So, uh, yeah, yeah. In check. Are you right? Oh, the USA was indeed usable and working perfectly, saving us some walking to the entrance. Before going further though, an adjustment had to be made. Oh. Um, is there a way for me to actually add oh. you? Is it, is it too big to yeah. go through here? Or retract the, um, retract the gun, it should go under there. Oh, so yeah, look at that the will fit provided the weapon is stowed. 
<laughs> the dude's just crossing the road. We were entering from the opposite side today, so the right turn would lead to the wrong room. Oh, it's a left this time. Okay, we can go back. What's yours? Okay, we're going to Austin Powers the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All <laughs> yeah. It's so cool though, isn't it? Like how much space there is down here and... So you know, the Ursa could go no further and we'd be dismounting. Okay. So our goal here, right, is to try and lift someone down on top of those cargo containers on the left. Fad, you've set your spawn, haven't you? Yep, I have. Yeah. You're, you're our first volunteer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> More like volunteered, but yeah. <laughs> Act as a flashlight. In the dark like this, distances and contact is very hard to judge, so we were expecting it would take a few attempts. <laughs> so hard to judge whether I've got you over the. Oh no! Whoa. Are you alive or are you dead? Uh, I think I'm dead. Oh no! Okay, it's so hard to judge the distance. Okay, but well, your marker yeah. actually, 36 meters. So if we had like three meters on, like so, say 40 Aww. to be safe, 40 would be that a distance that's that's kind of doable, I think. Next would be Zugbug's turn, and this time I could make a better estimate off the back of our first failure. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's, it's such a weird camera. Oh. At first, I wasn't certain if I dropped him as well. Did I go too far? I am alive. Oh, where are you? I am here. Turn your flashlight on. Oh, have you got one? I don't. I oh don't my god, do you want... Oh, it, it, the floor is lava. It's the floor is lava, because he's alive. <laughs> ah. We've sighted okay, so it. We can get down there. If we don't touch the floor, we can get down there. It was, however, very dark, and no helmets meant no flashlights. Uh, we need helmets, so we need to get... We don't have flashlights, so... Zug would test jumping to the ground and would predictably die. But when Fad returned, he now had a helmet. Yeah. This right. time you got a flashlight, and I, I, know, I know where to drop you this time, so... Hopefully no death. Again, based on the previous attempts, I was getting a better estimate of where exactly to drop Fad. At this point, though, it was still an estimate. Can they open the door? Okay, there you go. You, you, you should be good. Am I alive or am I dead? I think I'm dead. I think oh, wait. Yeah, oh, dead. oh, no. Okay, so I guess it looks like only the tallest containers, because I dropped Zerg on one of the taller ones. It looks like only the tallest containers prevent you right. from dying. Yeah. You could technically get down there, but there is nowhere to go. Still, I wanted to see how far we could take this, so I'd be returning to the Karak to pick up a helmet and some extra items. For 10 years, it's 235. Yeah. I didn't realise this until later, but I'd actually dropped all my gear into the local inventory rather than the ship, so there really was no need to come all the way back here to grab stuff. Fan, if you're coming back, can you bring a, yep. bring a track team with you? Uh, good call. Because cool. then you can drop me down there. Basically, I've got to be very specific and try and get you on top of one of the taller containers. It was time for another attempt with Fad. But again, judging the distance was really hard. Uh, Did I get you? you? I know. Oh no. Oh, we're just a little bit too far. While waiting for the others to return, I'd get more practice in. Okay, I'm going to practice with this body. All right, let's build it up with... Keeping a good eye on where you are dropping someone is hard in this darkness, so I decided to go looking for anything that could be used as a marker on the container we were aiming for. Make sure I find at the uh, respawn at the carrot. Oh, oh God. So do you only get the loot screen now? You can't. You can't get the old inventory screen when it comes to boxes now. No, you can. Yes. Can you? Um, yes. Yeah, so if you press and hold the F button. Uh, and, and oh yeah, yeah. Loot. yeah. I, I'm not a big fan of the new loot screen, if I'm honest. Mm. <laughs> Everyone's saying the same thing. Searching the boxes, I found a few quick flares, and I figured we'd make a nice bright marker for the container. Mm. 
This was also another opportunity to gauge the distance, and by now I was actually using the readout to get a more accurate distance to the drop. It's like 40... that one. The second flare would hone in even more. Forty one. Forty one, because your body down there on top of it is at forty one yeah. and it is right in the middle. Forty one and you should be good. So when Fred returned, I had some items to share with him. In order to get two of us down there, I'd be sending him over, then letting him in-cap me with a gun to pull me over there from his side. It is a technique that we'd used a lot when breaking into prison, but this meant Fred would also need a gun and a med gun. So first thing you're going to need is an arc light. Uh... Okay, hopefully we don't end up with there. Any more deaths? Twenty three forty. Oh, maybe it's too far. Too oh, far. Oh, oh, oh. No, no. Yeah, no, are you I'm good? Alive. Yeah, alive. look at that. Okay, great. Perfect. Okay. I'll be careful when I get up because I'm on the edge. I've got to arrange this in a way that you'll still be able to see me, so I need to be on the edge, I guess facing this way. I'm just gonna creep creep away from the edge a little bit so that I can stand up. It was time for Fad to shoot me. Oh, oh. But unfortunately, Fad would have a movement glitch while in his inventory, causing him to fall to his death. Uh, oh, 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 no. No. No, no. oh, no, what happened? I don't know, you, you look like you kind of glitched off the edge and you just fell down, yeah. Oh, no. So, next time I decided that I would go first. Do you want to just try and lift me down there? Push me down towards that other body and at and like 41 meters, just let go of me, just drop me. There we go. Okay, higher, a little more, more, a lot more, a lot more, a lot more, a lot more. Oh, yep, oh. I think I'm good, I think I'm good. Oh, you're down. Hello. Yeah, you got me here, well done. Damn. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well done, you can work. So is there anywhere we can, without touching the ground obviously, is there anywhere else we can go down here? So the containers, I don't think you could jump the distance, but um, there's a, there's a triple stack of containers over there, near the door, we might be able to get someone up there. I don't have a tractor beam, I just realised that I should have grabbed the tractor beam maybe before attempting any of this. Let me know when it's over. Okay, keep coming, keep coming. Okay, a little more, just a little more. 42. Okay, there you go, and I guess drop it now, drop it now. Should be good. Yeah, good work. Did, did it actually land or did it click through? No, you, yep, I got it. Nice. Good work. With a tractor beam in hand, I was ready to bring Fad down here, and Zero had arrived to stun Fad, so I wouldn't even need to shoot him. Good, good, okay, I think I've got you, I've got you. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so weird. <laughs> Pull me down and make sure that you're not going to fall. There you go. Perfect. Look at that. Yes. <laughs> Just like when we broke hurdle. into prison. <laughs> now, Zero, <laughs> do you want to join us on this escapade? I'll, yeah. I'll stay up here unless you definitely need three down there. Okay, so you see this, this stack of three at the end there? I want to try and get us up on top of that, but I need to know the distance. Fad would use a body to get a safe rough distance. So, so that's 28. That's 29.5. 30 should be safe, right? 30 should be on top. Oh, that's no, no, no. <laughs> Next, I'd make an attempt at getting Fad over there. Okay. But maybe due to desync, the beam would lose its hold. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, oh. I fell down in front. Did you die? I, uh, 
Yes. No, because it wouldn't be great if we found that there was like a gap on the far side of this whole yeah. thing. Yeah, it looked like I fell down in front of it. I, I could see the body that I dropped behind no, it. No, I, I was so close as well. So for our second day of science, we'd made it down to the platform, but no further. Obviously, with this area not intending to be reachable at all, I am not sure there is anywhere further to explore. But we have some ideas, such as bringing our own containers down here to use as platforms that may lead to even more discoveries. If we find anything, we will be sure to share it here on the channel. 323 is soon to go live, and with all of the changes it is bringing, I can't wait to experience all of this in the actual real game. As always, I want to thank all of you at home for watching watching and all of our very generous patrons who you can see on screen right now. These very generous people are what keep this channel going with their support and I want to just thank each and every one of them, thank you. In this video I would especially like to thank ESPGU who recently became a backer of the channel over on Patreon, thank you so much for that support ESPGU, that is a huge help, thank you. We'll be back with more from Star Citizen very soon.